I want to talk about how to use the dimensions from our model and import them into uh, our drawing here. And that is under Insert, Model Items. And it will give us a dialog box here on the left. And I want to put them on the entire model, so all three of the views. And I'm going to select all, so it selects all of the, all of the items that, were, that I used to create the model it will bring in. So I'm just going to hit the check mark. And it will bring in all of the uh, dimensions that were used on the, the model. Now notice that it puts them kind of where it wants them. So I'm going to just rearrange these a little bit. I'm going to bring them over here. Notice it has a snap on it. Okay, remember we set that up. So I'm just going to click that in. I'm going to bring this one across. And snap it in. And bring this one across and snap it in. Up here I can rearrange these a little bit. Uh, if I whoops, zoom in a little bit. Notice I've got the arrow going into the .276 from this dimension. Uh, I'm going to click on that little dot right there and that will push the arrows to the inside. So now it clears that up. Uh, notice also that uh, as I click on these, that maybe isn't where I want the extension line to start. I can just click on that and bring them up to the top. So by the time you get done rearranging all of the dimensions and fixing the um, extension lines, it may have been just as fast to dimension it without using uh, the quick setup. Notice I've got this one going across as well. So in, if I want to just use the regular dimension, I can just use smart dimension. And I can smart dimension from point to point. If I want the diameter in there, apparently, let's go ahead and delete that out. I'm going to click on edge to edge. Now it will give me the diameter symbol. So edge to edge, and now I have diameter symbol. All of the dimensioning is in one tool up here. So if I want a leader line um, on this circle, notice it will bring the leader line out for me. And also, if I, depending on where I'm clicking, it will go from um, edge to edge of that cylinder and, and put it in this way instead of on a leader line. So there's some generic uh, dimensioning that we can use. Uh, again, we can use model items from our insert model items up here at the top, or we can just use our smart dimension and smart dimension this the way that we want.